folks, you're not going to believe this, but Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, is actually getting a sequel. That's right. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey is getting a sequel. And this time, Tigger is in it. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. When will they stop doing this? Hello, oh, this is the Nintendork. Unfortunately, I had to do another rant on Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, because surprisingly, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey was actually successful. And looks like they're getting a sequel. And this is bad news. Very bad news. This is a movie that I'm very upset with. I didn't even bother to watch the original. And I'm definitely not looking forward to watching this abomination of a film. And it looks like Tigger's, Tigger's in it. And I don't want to see what he's going to look like. I just don't care anymore. I mean, it's bad enough that we get these crappy, unwanted Disney remakes that I didn't ask for and you didn't ask for. They're just ruining our childhood. Uh, What are they going to come up with next? Uh, Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck? Uh, I should ignore that. Ignore that. But back to Winnie the Pooh too. More like Winnie the Pooh Pooh. I'm definitely not going. going I'm definitely not going to see this movie. First one was ba bad enough. Why make a sequel? Just because a movie is successful at the box office doesn't mean it's a good movie. There are plenty of crappy movies that made a ton of money, yet they were they were bad and this movie is no exception no exception at all there's no this, this movie has no right to exist it's gonna trauma, traumatize the adults who who grew up with Winnie the Pooh The first one wasn't scary at all. It was... It had... I mean, Winnie the Pooh and Piglet, they were wearing goofy Halloween masks. That's not scary at all. That's just pure laziness, in my opinion. I mean, there's no CGI in that movie. None at all. Well, this is Nintendo signing out. And y'all have a nice evening.